Oh my god. Shall I fight him? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just a second. Sir, can I ask you a real quick question? You know what yes. this is all about? Yes. Well, can you tell me a little about it? Uh, this is uh, part of the Heart Fund Drive, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to my participation, as you can see uh, from uh, the uh, handcuffs that I have on, and uh, I understand we're going to the city jail, and uh, there are some others uh, who've uh, preceded me there, and uh, uh, that we're going to have uh, a good time there together. We have several ways to raise money and we thought that this would be the cardiac arrest kind of thing would be a lot of fun for everyone involved, the people being arrested, the uh, police department and the uh, county sheriff's office and this way we can have fun but still raise money for a very, very serious cause and that is uh, trying to fight heart disease. Down. Lie down. Benches are hard. Uh, Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. When you start on interstate projects, freeway projects, they cost millions of dollars. For 15, 20 years ago, people around the state were terribly upset that the old Highway Commission was spending millions of dollars in Polk County. But it had to be spent. Once you get started on a freeway project, you've got to finish it, and it takes tons of money. Mm -hmm. That freeway from Waterloo to Cedar Rapids is going to be built in the next few years. It's going to cost millions of dollars. That's what throws the figures, makes the figures look like Northeast Iowa is getting um, just a terribly unfair share of the money. We can get manpower from the back office, uh, put extra help on. We have a young lady here in our office that we put on the ticket counter that's cross-utilized on the ticket counter, and I myself will be pressed in the service occasionally on the
We let contracts all winter, but the construction season is on right now. And uh, we won't pay for those contracts until fall. By January, next January, most of this balance we have on hand will be spent, will be paid to the contractors for work that is being done right now. Well, first of all, I felt the decision would be in favor of Baki. Secondly, but I didn't think it would be in such a way that it would provide direction, so I'm not disappointed from what I've read so far. I think for those who wish to use Baki to refrain from doing will continue, will use that case. Those who want to take affirmative action will continue to take affirmative action. Let's mix the motion, then, of course, we are disappointed that uh, the Supreme Court um, found that there was discrimination, and Alan Backey is, of course, admitted to or should be admitted to the medical school here in California. But is a higher point there. You can also give other groups a higher point. We expected uh, when we first started pumping it to run around 1,000 gallons a day for the first few days and then slack off to around 500. But uh, it's gone way up above that. We're, we're averaging anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 gallons a day. I know. <laughs>
It used to be when you thought of exports from Iowa, the thing that came to mind was corn or soybeans. But while it's true agriculture once provided the bulk of the state's exports, manufacturing now makes up 50% of that total. companies here in Des Moines who are exporting meat processing equipment and grain processing equipment and drying equipment, air eating equipment and pollution equipment and uh, um, just general technology. There is a tremendous market for this uh, all over the world. This siren is part of a $20,000 storm warning system in Webster City. When yesterday's storm hit the town, this siren didn't go off. There was actually a radio call given to the fire department to activate the town sirens to set off the disaster warning and that radio message was not able to be received, most likely because of the hail and the rain and the wind. That